we are here with Chef Mike Erickson, who is behind the True Beef documentary. Uh, Chef, could you tell a, a little bit about how this whole experience started? Well, the True Beef project started with a trip with 27 other chefs to Kansas on a, a pasture to plate tour, and I got to visit the uh, Cargill uh, Innovation Center in Dodge City and really drove all over Kansas learning about cattle production from pasture to plate and thought, man, this would be an awesome experience for young people at the high school level and back in my home state of Texas to be able to do something similar. And it progressed from a field trip into a full-blown documentary film that uh, we've produced and now we're sharing with other educators and, and young people. Okay. So uh, with your experience working with the high school students, what were some of the perceptions that they had about the meat industry? Maybe not be, maybe being exposed to a certain slanted perception of it through other films and documentaries. Well, part of the True Beef process was getting the, the students to analyze and, and research the, the meat industry. And there was a lot of preconceived notions that, from different media sources and research that they did that, you know, cattle are pumped full of hormones or they only eat gra grain and they're not fed any grass and a lot of stereotypes that uh, you really they were able to debunk and, and learn firsthand from a lot of the experts we worked with and, and going out to ranches and farms and processing facilities and seeing the technology and the facilities and the people that are actually doing this to produce the beef uh, it really kind of in, in, in opened their eyes to the, a lot of the things that they thought they knew or absolutely the opposite. Okay, uh, one of the challenges that the industry has been having has been doing the reaching out to consumers because uh, people who are activists or against the meat industry have cor kind of cornered that market and the meat industry is facing a bit of an uphill battle to uh, get their, percep their perception or their perspective out there. Uh, from what you have had with your experience, how do you think the meat industry should start to move forward and communicate, especially with the younger consumers and the up and coming consumers? I think the meat industry is has done a, a good job, but I think it's really important for them to focus on education. Whether they're going to be future consumers or not, they're still going to make buying decisions when they grow up, and they're going to go out and shop in a grocery store or eat in a restaurant. And if they don't have firsthand information about the product and the way it is, today's age where you have social media and the internet, they can pretty much find out whatever they want to find out. And hopefully the meat industry can put out good resources and good industry and information to get it to them at the high school level and so that they can be exposed to it early on uh, versus reading about it and hearing it from a friend and then finding out that, that their information is completely wrong. Uh, I think the meat industry can produce some content and some educational material that they could use in the classroom uh, to get their message out there about what they do and they've been doing for years it's just social media has kind of changed things a little bit in the way that people get information okay so for people who are interested in getting more information about the film uh, what where what's the best way to go about that uh, if you're interested in, in finding more about True Beef and the project or getting a copy of the DVD, you should contact Russell Woodward at the Texas Beef Council, uh, and he can find out and get you a copy or get you more information. Or we also have a website, uh, truebeef.com, uh, and a Facebook page, which we would love for you to support, to support the kids and, and promoting a positive message about meat and the beef industry.